Hello class. Um, I believe you have uh, already sent in the assignments. Uh, the particularly the assignment of introduction to HTML. The few we looked at, and uh, today's class is going to be about selectors there are quite many we are going to to look at the, the most important ones as time will allow so as usual you open your visual studio code should be looking like this at this stage with the with your index HTML index CSS so now you can as well say control N open a new file uh, save it as selectors.css or selectors.html and as you can see I am inside the HTML section so that when I save I can come to this one here and it will be saved in the CSS folder and it will be called selectors.css then we save so now we have started the CSS part like I had told you it is where we are going to dwell in most cases so write the HTML page structure this is the language we are using English and the direction we are using left to right from here we have the head where we have the title and selectors the default one is meta, the character set that we want to use for now until we can study how to change or include in other fonts. Then now we are going to introduce in something else. We are going to link our HTML page to the CSS file. And we do that like I had said before with the link tag link relationship is a style sheet where is it located it is located under the css files and it is called selectors.css we go ahead and say body where everything we are going to type is going to be located you can maybe put an h1 here that says introduction Introduction to CSS selectors. selectors. So to find out whether we actually have this page, this sheet link to our HTML page, we can maybe say body. We say body. What do we want with the body? Maybe we can just say background the background color could be maybe straight blue so we come to our our page here we open a, we go to our folder and now open selectors.html so once we can have this then it means that this is working up and running you can see our you can see our our, our file name our file title as selectors so to this extent repeat the the procedure until you can the video until you can be able to achieve something like this so we can come here and look at what selectors are or what a selector is and we are saying that selectors are ways of grabbing and manipulating HTML 
I also say that there are also ways of choosing or directly pointing and or picking out what HTML elements you would want to style. Meaning that there are different ways, many many different ways of how to select but as long as you know what you are selecting then you can always use either of the methods and you will get what you want. Not every method is applicable on each and every element so these are categories of the methods of, of the methods we can use under selectors we have simple selectors we have attribute selectors pseudo, sele pseudo class pseudo element and combinator selectors we have under simple selectors which we are going to talk about one at a time under simple selectors, we can say that these select elements using either the class ID or name. We are going to see the difference between an ID, a class, and a name. So, when we come here, we are saying that the element selector, we are saying that the element selector is used to select HTML elements using the element name or the tag name if you fail to remember that property you can remember what we call the tag name so we are choosing to say we can go back to our code here and html already we have said that introduction to css selectors now this is the tag and it is as well called the tag name so we can come here and say for a simple selector we say that h1 meaning we are selecting h1 or picking h1 or pointing to h1 and we are saying that there are many things we can do to this now for example we can save the, the background or so just that we can say that the background um, or you can say the text align may be center if that is all we want from this we could also say that the color should be white smoke we are doing all this under the css file you can see it here selectors.css we can maybe add the font size to be around 30 pixels would be 35 pixels can do that and see so we go back to our document to our file and then refresh and here we have all these worked upon introduction to css this is turning into white is now centered on our page and that is the how simple selectors work one of them as the element selector we could also add something else we can also say as a way of an example we can say that maybe paragraph uh, simple maybe simple selectors and then we come here and say since we are using the tag name we go to the css file and pick that paragraph mm -hmm can pick the paragraph and what do we want to use it for maybe we can say that color is sea green that the color of the paragraph should be sea green that may be the font size or that the font family can be sans sans serif something like that or maybe tahoma we shall uh, Tahoma is here. We can choose that this is what we want for the start. Uh, this is Tahoma and the under sun serif. So what this does, we shall look at it when we come to dealing with text. What this does is that when Tahoma cannot be accessed, then the general type of that font family is the one that is being used. So we go back here and refresh our page and that is what we have 
as the as our paragraph. So we have simple selector. We are saving. We are picking a paragraph. And now we are at that. We can maybe change the color from the sea green that we have here to blue such that we can be able to see our we can be able to see our wording clearly there so that is element we have h1 meaning with if it was an image we would also select it the same way we would create that image there and then select the image and do whatever we want to do with it we shall see more when we come to, to images so another type of selector that is under simple selectors is what you would call an id selector we are saying this selector uses the id attribute of an html element to specify id attribute of an html element to select a specific element we are also saying that this is also used as a unique identifier to select a unique element we use a hash character before the id name to select that specific id of an element and we are saying that an id cannot begin with a number so you cannot say one dash something two or five dash something it has to begin with a hash rather any other word any other character other than the digits so we can try that one out also and say that uh, we come to html since that is what we want to be displayed we can maybe say that the hr br then we are saying that paragraph can say that one day i'll be able to design to design many websites this is also to bring hope in you and then we can say id that id equals uh, maybe future now one thing you need to note is that these are just user defined words like probably in other programming languages so any word that you use here can work or will work as long as you use it properly so it doesn't matter whether you use future or use later if on or I use this and that that doesn't matter why because it is just any word you can change this so what is important is to make sure the same word the same spelling is what you use under the CSS file so we said it begins with a hash for you to for you to achieve that you need to use a hash like that hash and then the name of the id so we are saying that hash what do we want with this maybe we can say that text terrain we are in this to the right since it will be at the left we can also change the color maybe to to white so when we come to our page here and select us we should be able to see it here that one day i will be able to design many websites so we are selecting that using the id we could also have selected it using a paragraph or p tag since it was a paragraph but if we they just left it like that and closed this one or commented that one out how do we comment in css we can comment like that for the slash asterisk or you can highlight what you want just like i've done and press ctrl plus the forward slash 
control and forward slash would create a comment so you comment one comment in the same way if they were to be many so if we comment that out by commenting it out it means that uh, we don't want this to run when we come back to our document our web browser and refresh you can see since it is a paragraph it is taking up the format design of a paragraph so if we don't want that already we have to apply the id type of selector such that for this particular word we want it to look like this you see so that is one way of that is already an application where you can use this as uh, these types of selectors differently so when i refresh whatever properties we have given here take effect so another type of a um, simple selector is a class selector and for it the difference is that we use the dot instead of the hash the rest are the same as that of an id that it cannot begin with a number so let's go ahead and work on the same document here we say we can copy this one here and then paste it here maybe hr br by now you know what those ones mean instead of an id we say class it can be still the same name future so when we come here we can say dot in the class name the difference between that so now we can simply say text line center we can choose to center this and maybe we can choose to say text the text transform we want to capitalize it for example just to give it a different look oh um, so the future for a class this is the class this is uh, an id because it has a, it is an id because it has it begins with a hash otherwise it would uh, become would become a class if you are going to use a dot so we are looking at the you can come here refresh our page and we have it there why is it blue because it is already picking the paragraph it was a paragraph in the first place if we don't want that color then we can come here and say color for this to be uh, something that is going to work with what we have as our background maybe tomato as a color so when we refresh we have it there otherwise it would be picking the color of the paragraph so there we have looked at the at element selector we've looked at the the ID we looked at class. Now we can look at the, uh, something else that can work as a combination of the two. So here we are saying that um, we can also use an element tag and a class name to select a particular class. We have already seen that, but uh, let me bring it to your attention for example we have um let's say we have um uh, we can look at certain certain things here let us say we have this one will also be the same uh, we have a class for example we have already a paragraph that is having color blue but we can also say that uh, we have a paragraph we can uh, make maybe um, a paragraph and say so we are saying that we can use a class name 
फिर सन्नेरे में तो नेम और तक तो सिर्फ दस पतिच रखे रहस हन एग्जाम वो कन बी रेखा लेट्स से वी हैव अ पैराग्राफ दैट सेज वेब डेवलपमेंट इज कूल बट दिस वन हियर हैज अ क्लास दैट वी कॉल मे बी वेब सो we can come to css and say paragraph which is an element selector dot web which is a class name which is a which is a class uh what do we want with this maybe we want the background the background color to be to be teal we want the color of that word to be white smoke we also want the 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 border radius the border radius to be say two pixels for now let us take that maybe 8 pixels let's first look at what this means so we refresh here let us see so when we refresh it is going to look like that we can maybe say that the width should be around the 30 pixels um now we can increase this to around 100 we refresh still a few missing we can make this 130 and the our wording should be there we can even like this or we can continue and make this 200 such that our word can be longer so around 250 we will be able to make our word fit there so we have web development is cool we can choose to say height of that to be 50 pixels and it will be a little larger Uh, as you can see we can choose to say text align if we have height then we can have what we call line height it also be 50 pixel now observe what how this is see where the position of web development is good is when you have applied line height now it is centered we can also if you want to vertical center element you can one of the ways we shall look at how to, when we, do, we are doing the text we shall look at how to vertical align text in different ways one of the ways is to use height and line height they must be the same for you to be able to make for you to be able to align the your word vertically centered but then we can also say text text dash align that align this text center this is left and right centering so you can see that that is where we are now so we are using a selector or a tag element or an element plus the class the class name to be able to also select that document to select that particular paragraph we can again include something here we can say paragraph that says uh, paragraph that says class hey, by the way there is something else we can do we can say money dot um, can say paragraph then we say class equals money and then we say um when i am an expert i will earn enough 
course you need to be an expert to earn enough now get us money for this we can come here and say that p dot and we can just say dot money since we have seen that it works also so what do we want with money maybe you want font size to be let's say 50 pixels something ambiguous um, just like that 50 pixels um, so we refresh and this is what we have when i am an expert i will earn enough now we can also add another way of selecting that we shall also do it properly with images we can create a paragraph okay that has two classes that has class equals uh, web money so when we do that then we have um, we have so we can have uh, something like much much more money realize that we have a class called web and a class called money that already exist so what are we trying to do we are trying to say that get the elements get the properties and property values of web add them together with those properties under money and apply those properties to much more much more money much more money so when we do that without we don't this means that if i had only this class for example then this would be affected that way it put quotation marks then if i have two classes or three all those properties as long as they are not conflicting if they are conflicting then the last property used under css would be the one to be taken as the current so when we refresh our page this is what we see much more money all we need to do such that it looks much better is to come to css and now if every time we affect this we can maybe take it to 500 pixels when we come and refresh this will increase as well as this increasing so this is 50 pixels right now what we have as here uh, as the, the font size of this you can see that these are the same 500 pixels 500 pixels for the widths you can also see that the, there is a border radius a border radius is created by these curvatures you see at the bottom or at the corners we shall talk more about border radiuses and uh, you can see it is color white because this is the color that is up here and uh, as you can see this money would pick would pick would pick uh, blue why because we had made blue as a paragraph so it is still picking from the paragraph you can as well say that it is being affected also by two classes much as we simply said that this money much as we simply said that money should only be affected by 50 pixels so you need to keep that in mind that if only this i had showed you how to change i can simply add a color here i say color uh, maybe what do we do tomato yes we can say tomato and when we refresh we have our tomato there okay so now this is different from from the other one you could as well say p and select it like that so 
why is it now picking this color yet it was picking the other color i will show you when we come to what we call specificity we shall learn how css interprets your properties but for now understand that the last property if we have two properties conflicting and you happen to have elements that have the same e power or specificity because when i say p dot paragraph this is a paragraph and a class this is also a paragraph and a class so the specificity like you see there selector specificity is the same so if it is the same then the color or the property the conflicting property like you see they are being highlighted the rest of the properties will be the one that is administered if i remove the p it means the upper part has higher specificity meaning it has more power so that is why when i refresh you will see that the color is white but if they have the same specificity we shall it will pick this color just like we have seen it or so um let us see that could be all for simple selectors we have one for universal uh selector we are saying that the universal selector is used to select all elements on a given page so all elements on a given page we could choose to be funny now and say that universal select or this is the asterisk or the star or the multiplication sign on your keyboard and same font dash variant font variant you create font variant small caps here we will be creating capital letters but of a small of a smaller size so when we come and select you can see that all of them have been affected you see they are now a little smaller a little smaller some may do not be seen properly but you can see those that were not capital letters are now capital letters and somehow they are smaller than they're supposed to be we said all so everything here is somehow made small if it was a small letter it was made capital but capital that is a little bit small so i will comment it out come back here and you can look at our original these were not capital letters now they can be made capital but a little smaller so that is what font variant does so majorly that is all about simple selectors we are going to look at another type of a selector in the next tutorial when all these tutorials are done expect an assignment about selectors and how they are implemented